Hi everyone. Last week I shown you this thing, and um, as you probably know if you're watching the video, this is the controller or the monitor for the solar power uh, system that I've, I've created or creating. And um, I've done some changes to it. I've uh, added another LED in here, one's for transmitting and one's for receiving. Uh, I'll just zoom in a little bit actually. That should be okay. So we've got a transmit and a receive LED. I've actually added a little resistor in here, and I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, I've added a wire in here. Now, this wire here is so I can detect the actual battery voltage of the device itself. So um, I've got a resistor in there just to make sure that uh, the Arduino can't draw too much. Now this resistor here, I've put this in because what actually happens is that this little device here which supplies the power I've noticed that what it was doing is that when this was timing out and the display was going off um, <coughs> it wasn't detecting any current and therefore it was switching off because the Arduino consumed less current than, than it thinks is necessary and therefore it switches off so um, it's not ideal but I found a, a correct value resistor there to just always drain from the battery now it sounds a bit counterproductive but um, it's just something like to bodge to make it work. So I've also added a capacitor in here and I've added a voltage divider instead of the uh, level shifter because the level shifter wasn't necessary. I've added a tiny capacitor in here as well just to um, remove any ripple. And I can't remember if I had a switch last time, I don't think I did, but I've added a switch as well so I can actually switch it on and off now. <coughs> so Regarding the actual menu itself, I'll just go through this. So we've got solar, charge, drain, battery, light, etc. Now, one of my viewers said, why don't you um, actually get the data or request the data for the next and the previous menu when you're on one? And that was a great idea, so I did that. Um, <coughs> and I'll show you now. I'll just have to turn the actual solar controller on, just a minute. Okay, so I've turned the uh, master control uh, unit on now, or whatever it's called. And, um, yeah, you can see that the LEDs are blinking, so it's requesting and receiving, transmitting and receiving data. And we're on the AI menu, so um, let's go. Yeah, so now it gets data from, uh, f well, it requests data for three menus instead of one. So the previous, the current, and the next menu, as one of my viewers suggested. So it's a great idea, so thank you for suggesting that. Um, so it gets the date and time. I've also added dates, so it actually hasn't got an RTC of its own. It just gets sent it from the master control unit. Uh, actually, the master control unit has got it incorrect as well. Um, I have set it, but it forgets the the date. Well, it forgets the date and time, which I'm not sure why it does that, but whatever. So I've added this as well. So it says this battery or this cell. It should be really. And it's got the voltage of the cell uh, which is powering it, which is this one. So it can give us an idea if we're going to run out of battery or not. And then more or less the rest of it is um, is unchanged. Um, so I thought I'd just show you that anyway. So stuff to do on this. It needs a board designing um, in um, a Design Spark. And of course it needs a board creating. Um, which will probably be on one of those copper clad uh, PCB things and I'll have to make a new one and um, <coughs> well as far as I can see that, that's about it really oh it needs a case as well which I keep saying I'll make one with a 3D printer but I never get around to it um, it's because I find it hard to calibrate the thing and it, whenever I use it the results are always pretty poor so yeah but I'll have to start using it at some point so anyway, I just thought I'd show you how far I've got. So yeah, um, last year and the year before when I spoke about solar, well, this is how far we've come now. So this is, uh, well, I don't know what version we should call it, the 2019 version maybe. This is how far we've got at the moment. So um, in the next video tomorrow, I'm actually going to show you the master control um, unit itself, which is a bit of a mess, but I'm going to show you anyway. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!